This tutorial is for students and parents to log into Jupyter to check grades and homework. To get your password, first your school may give you a letter, like this with login instructions. Notice that each student and parent have different passwords. It is very important that you each use your own separate password. Do not share passwords. You may ask your school to give you more passwords if needed for step parents or anyone else. Follow the instructions to go to the login screen. Then select student or parent as appropriate. Enter the student name, temporary password, city, and state. Then it asks you to choose a new password, which replaces your temporary password, so you won't need that anymore. Then it asks for your email address and other information. Alternatively, your school may email you a link. This makes it easier since it requires fewer steps and does not require a temporary password. Now that you are logged in, you will see the Messages screen, where it shows any messages and announcements. This is also where you will find discussion forums. Click any item to read it, or click New Message to contact a teacher or school staff member. Click To Do to see an overview of all your classes on one screen. This is the most important screen. It shows your current grades in each subject and any homework which is due soon. It also reminds you if you are missing any assignments that are overdue. To see your grades in detail, click any class. This takes you to the grade screen where you can see all of your graded assignments. Remember, it may take a few days for teachers to enter all the grades, so please be patient. To see an assignment in more detail, just click the assignment on any screen. This takes you to the assignment screen where you can see directions, files and links, and rubrics depending on whatever your teacher entered. When it is graded, your score and comments will be visible too. Some assignments may have a button, like this, to do a test or lesson online. The button may also appear here on your to-do screen. Click these arrows to turn the page. Click the face icon to hear the question spoken, or double-click any text to do the same thing. Click Prefs to change text size and other options. Click Done when you are finished. Click Materials to see files and links from your teachers or the school office, such as notes, worksheets, permission slips, and so on. Select the teacher or the school office and click any item in order to open it. My Files is a place for you to store your files for schoolwork. Click this button to add a new file. You can upload files from your computer, Google Drive, or Dropbox, or you can send the file by email. Click New Juno Doc to write an essay or simple text document. Just type your text here. This menu provides advanced options to save your document as a draft or to share it for a review. Your teacher will tell you if this is required. Your teacher may also require you to turn in assignments online instead of printing them. To do so, click Turn In. On the My Files screen, you can also turn in a file by first clicking the file and then choosing Turn In. Notice you can also type a note to your teacher. Click the Calendar to see events and lunch menus. This is just an overview so click a date to see more information. Notice that it also lists what assignments are due on that date, similar to the to-do list. So you can use the calendar to look for past or future homework, but for current homework it is easier to use the to-do list. You may have some of the links here, but your school can customize this, so you might not see all the same links when you log in. Click Report Card to see your report card for the whole year. The grade displayed on the report card reflects current grades in all classes, so they may change throughout the term. Click Attendance 
to see all your absences and tardies for the whole year. Click Behavior Log to see your discipline history for the whole year. This may also include good behavior and other notes. Click Balance to see if you owe any money to the school. Click Course Requests to see all the classes offered for next term. Check which courses you would like to request and use the menu to select whether you would like first, second, or third choice. Parents, if the school requires you to approve your child's course request, then go to this screen and click this button to give your approval. Click Enroll and Pay to fill out school registration forms and make online payments to the school. Click Settings to update your email address, phone number, and other information. You also have this option to receive automatic alerts for absences, missing assignments, low grades, or select Always to receive alerts every week or day. If you ever forget your password, just go to the login screen and click Forgot Password. If you're a parent with more than one child, you can log in for any of your children and then use this menu to switch to your other children, so you only need to log in once. If the menu does not include your other children, you can fix that. Just log in for each child and then go to the settings screen. Make sure that your email address is the same. Also click Change Password to make sure you use the exact same password for all of your children. Jupyter has a mobile app for smartphones and tablets, but it is not in the App Store. Instead, use your mobile browser to go to login.jupyter.ed.com. Then follow the prompt to add Jupyter to your home screen. You must use Chrome on Android or Safari on iPhone or iPad for this to work. Then launch the Jupyter icon from your home screen. All screens are supported for both tablets and smartphones. Rotate your phone sideways for more options on some screens. If you have any questions, please contact your school.